the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, is readying for a fresh trial of its long-range nuke-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, K-4 from an underwater platform in the last week of this month. If things go as per the program, defense sources said the indigenously built most powerful underwater missile having a strike range of around 3,500 km will be test-fired from a submerged pontoon, which is almost identical to a submarine, on January 31. Though the missile has been designed to be launched from a depth of 50 meters, this time the scientists are planning to fire it from the undersea platform nearly 20 to 30 meter deep in the Bay of Bengal. Top 5 Facts About K-4 Missile Number 5 the country's first indigenous nuclear submarine in Zarahant has already been inducted in the Indian Navy and this submarine will be equipped with the K-series missiles. Number 4 The missile is reported to be 12 meters, 39 feet, long with a diameter of 1.3 meters, 4 feet 3 in, and weighs nearly 17 tons, 19 tons. It can carry a warhead weighing up to 2 tons, 2.2 tons, and is powered solid rocket propellant. Number 3 K-4 combines the aspects of both cruise and ballistic missile, which use multiple stage rockets to exit the atmosphere and re-enter in a parabolic trajectory. Number 2 all the K-series missiles are faster, lighter and stealthier it is very difficult to detect missiles of K-series. The missiles are far more difficult to tackle as they skulk clandestinely undersea and maneuverable thus minimizing the chance to be shot down by the enemy. Number 1 Strike range of K-series is 3,500 km with highest rate of accuracy near zero SEP. Future plan. Apart from the 700 km range K-15, renamed as B-05, which has been successfully test-fired several times and K-4, India has one more missile in the series. SLBM K-5 having a striking capability of over 5,000 km is under development. Apart from the K-series missiles, India has the submarine version of BrahMos supersonic cruise missile in its arsenal to boost its second strike capabilities. The DRDO is also developing the air version of K-series missiles which can be fitted with fighter aircraft. Conclusion The DRDO is expecting a successful trial of the missile as it would strengthen the country's position in the exclusive club of six nations including Russia, USA, France, Britain and China which have the capability of firing missiles from air, land and undersea.